Palm Sunday weekend. The miracle of Palm Sunday, I believe, is not the triumphant entry, but the miracle of the unridden cult. How Jesus, in his incredible height of spirituality, could get on an unridden cult and not have that cult go wild, go crazy, try to buck him off, and to ride that unridden cult through masses of crowds pressing in and trying to greet Jesus and to have the cult remain calm, not upset. Inside of us, this story spiritually means that the Christ can override the lower animal natures inside of us, old habits and old ways, and we can become new creatures in Christ. We can literally have the highest and the best come up inside of us and take over. Instead of the old animal natures, the angers, the fears, the doubts, we no longer have this animal riding supreme, going wild in the cage that we call the human body and human mind. We have the Christ now riding, taming, mastering these lower animalistic traits. And this can happen on Palm Sunday weekend, but it can happen any time that the Christ takes over in mind and heart and body. And when this occurs, there is a triumphant entry inside of us. All the other thoughts are are waving palm branches and saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Christ in the nature of the Christ, in the perfection of the Christ, in the exalted way of the Christ. All the crowds of thoughts inside of our mind are welcoming and saying, thank God we have relief. Thank God we have a higher way to go. Thank God that we have something now to follow and to have great success in walking the path with. Palm Sunday is a message for each each of us, and it's not just a message of of 2,000 years ago. It is a message for today. It is a message of mastery, and it is a message of victory, and it is a message of, uh, of a great overcoming that can happen any time that you allow the Christ in your mind and heart, totally and completely. Any time that you surrender that animal self of you and the old tendencies to have an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, you're saying, no, not anymore. I'm going to allow the Christ to be in me. I'm going to allow the Christ to override these old tendencies. And you will become a new person. I wish you and your family a very happy Easter and an exalted time of the realization of the risen Christ.